Welcome to this V-Ray feature short demonstration. In this video, we will take a look at the ability to render very high resolution images together with all of their separate render elements all done on the V-Ray RT GPU. V-Ray RT GPU allows for rendering images regardless of their resolution. Even when rendering ultra high definition images, V-Ray would self adjust to keep the GPU fully utilized and produce maximum performance. Another optimization for high resolution rendering is that all the frame buffer information is stored in the computer memory. This keeps the video memory available for other resources. We will also utilize the V-Ray render elements, which could be used for greater control in compositing. They contain different shading components such as lighting, reflections, GI and so on. When properly composited, they reconstruct the original rendering. The render elements are rendered simultaneously with the render and do not add extra render time. This way, for instance, we can see that the noise render element updates in real time during rendering. We could also add some utility render elements such as Multimat, which allows for extracting masks. and extra text for adding a custom texture, for example, V-Ray Dirt. Another very useful render element is the Light Select, which extracts the light contribution of a pre-selected light source. This allows for adjustments of light's intensity and color in post without re-rendering the image. When using V-Ray RT GPU, all the shading components such as reflections, refractions, GI and so on are included in the light select render element. This is true in the case of using brute force brute force as our GI engine. In future versions of V-Ray, this would be supported using brute force light cache as well. Let's open up the render settings and set the desired resolution. In this particular case, let's go for something close to 4K resolution. Next, let's set the engine type to CUDA so we can render using the GPU. We're going to render all the separate render elements and use them for compositing later. Let's set a destination folder where they would be saved after the rendering is finished. Under the frame buffer rollout, click on the separate render channels checkbox and choose the desired destination. Finally, under the render elements tab, we can add all the elements we need. In this example, we already have some. Let's add a couple more. You can do that by clicking on the add button and selecting from the list. Let's choose V-Ray Light Select, specify a light source and also give it a name to keep things organized. Another useful render element we can add is the V-Ray Extra Text. We need to supply a texture to make it work. In this example, we'll plug in a V-Ray Dirt Texture. Let's name it appropriately and go ahead and hit the render button. While the rendering is going on, we can switch between the separate render elements and see how each one of them progresses. If we have set some color corrections within the frame buffer that we'd like to use later on, we can do so by saving them to AUT file and load them as needed. Once the rendering process is completed, we can load all the separate render elements and composite them in a software of choice. In this demonstration, we are going to use Photoshop. The 
First thing we'll do is set the blending mode of all the render elements to add. Let's leave only the light select ones. Let's pick one of the lights and change its color and intensity. Next, we can use the Multimat render element to mask off certain parts of the image and make changes only to the unmasked parts. Let's select everything in the blue channel and make some changes to the reflection render element. We can easily change the hue and saturation of the reflections to achieve a certain look and feel. Following the same logic, we can quickly change the color of the subsurface scatter render element as well. Lastly, let's add a color lookup adjustment layer and load our color corrections file that we have exported from the V-Ray frame buffer earlier. In this video, we went over rendering very high resolution images on the V-Ray RT GPU and also rendering separate render elements that could be used in compositing. I hope you have found this video useful and helpful. Please give us your feedback, comment or share it. If you'd like to follow along this tutorial, please download the scene from the link provided in the video's description. Make sure you check out more of the V-Ray feature videos and be on the lookout for new ones. Thank you for watching.